Missouri Senate race is heating up. If we're not willing to compromise, this is just going to continue to be a stalemate. And that doesn't do Missouri families any good. As issues like President Trump's Supreme Court pick and immigration are in the forefront. In this election, our way of life is at stake. That's why I'm running. That's why I decided to run. Color 10 is your local election headquarters, and we're digging deep into the issues with Democratic incumbent Senator Claire McCaskill and the man gunning for her seat, Republican Missouri Attorney General Josh Hawley, in this special edition of Color 10 News. And indeed, good evening once again to you. I'm David Oliver. I'm Heather Lewis. Thanks for joining us. And we are joined now by Color 10 political analyst, Dr. Brian Calfano. So, Brian, let's get right to this Senate race. It is already contentious, and we aren't even to the primaries yet. Exactly, Heather and David. Good to see you. I spoke with Senator McCaskill last week via Skype, and I asked her about reaction to the president's nomination last week of Brett Kavanaugh for the Supreme Court vacancy. Well, um, I'm going to treat this nomination like I have all of the nominations, which means I'm going to look uh, at his record. I'm going to make an evaluation over uh, all of his writings and his speeches. Uh, I obviously have an opportunity to visit with him. I have voted for almost 80 percent of President Trump's nominees. So I am obviously willing to vote for one of President Trump's nominees. I voted for many of his cabinet members, but I make each decision on an individual basis. And so it is obviously too early for me to make a determination as to whether or not uh, he, I'm gonna be looking to see if he's gonna take the side of corporations or the little guy. I'm gonna be looking to see if he'll protect uh, the protections we have uh, against discrimination against people that have been sick before in the Affordable Care Act. I'm going to be looking at how he has treated First Amendment claims. I'm very much supportive of the First Amendment. Uh, so those are some of the things I'm going to be taking a look at. Missouri Attorney General Josh Hawley has made some strong comments about McCaskill, attacking her voting record, among other things. Now, assuming McCaskill is matched against Hawley in November, I asked the senator what she would say to voters who might be on the fence about supporting the Republican. Well, I think Missourians have an opportunity in this election to decide whether they want someone who's a party line voter or someone who believes very much in what our founding fathers believed in, and that is compromise. I'm really proud of my bipartisan record. I've had almost 25 bills that I have worked on or sponsored or written that President Trump has signed. That's because I work well across the aisle with my Republican colleagues. I'm proud to say I'm a moderate. I'm proud to say that I think compromise is an essential part of the process. Those words will never come out of Josh Hawley's mouth. He is going to take a down the line approach, uh, doing whatever President Trump supports, regardless of whether it's good for Missouri. And I'm going to first check and make sure it's good for Missouri. I next ask Senator McCaskill what her top two or three policy concerns are, given the federal government's direction under Republican control. Well, I'm very worried about how they are ignoring the health care crisis we have. You know, they promised repeal and replace, and they're in charge of government. They couldn't even get enough Republican votes to repeal and certainly have nothing that they can use to replace the Affordable Care Act. I've got some ideas, and there's a bipartisan bill that will actually help with health care costs. It would be great if the Republicans would allow that bipartisan compromise to come to the floor for a vote. But I know health care costs after 50 town halls last year, I will tell you, all across Missouri and places where I'm not very popular, uh, I heard over and over again about pharmaceutical drug prices and health care costs. I know how important it is that we get after those two topics. And frankly, um, the Republican government right now, the leaders in the House and the Senate and even President Trump is ignoring those problems. Finally, I asked the senator if she plans to debate her Republican opponent, whoever that may be, this fall. Oh, of course. Yeah, of course. You know, as somebody who's done 53 town halls, I let anybody in the door who wants to come in and they can ask any question they want to ask. So um, obviously, I am very comfortable in situations where I get tough questions. McCaskill now in her second term there in the U.S. Senate. We'll see what exactly. voters think. All right, Brian, thanks.